When the monkey hands vertically, the two forces on it are its weight and the tension in the string holding it up. Because it's in equilibrium, these forces must be equal to each other. If a horizontal force is applied, the monkey can be held in a new equilibrium position. The forces which act on the monkey are now the weight, downwards as before, the sideways pull P and the tension in the string which now acts diagonally. Since the monkey is in equilibrium, the vertical component of the tension must be equal to the weight. The tension must be greater than the weight since only part of the tension is equal to the weight. The horizontal component of the tension must be equal to the pulling force P. In this example the weight is 25 newtons and the angle theta is 40 degrees. We need to find the tension T and the sideways pull P. To find the horizontal and vertical components of T I'm going to draw a vector arrow separate from the diagram because I don't like mixing up vectors with pictures of objects. So there's the vector that represents T. So I can easily find its horizontal and vertical components. I completed a triangle. So there's the vertical component and there's the horizontal component. Now because this line is in the direction of T, then this angle here has to be 40 degrees. So to find the vertical component of the force, look at the triangle. This is the adjacent side. So adjacent divided by hypotenuse will be adjacent over hypotenuse is cosine 40. So this side divided by T is cosine 40, which makes this side, the vertical component, t cosine 40. And there's really only one thing left, but let's check anyway. To find the horizontal component, it's the opposite side. So the opposite side divided by t is sine 40, which makes this side t sine 40 degrees. So now we know what the horizontal and vertical components of the tension must be. We can work out the tension and also the sideways pull. So the object's in equilibrium, so the vertical component of the tension acting upwards must be equal to the weight. So we can write T cos 40 degrees is equal to the weight, which is 25 newtons. So if we want to get the T on its own, we need to divide by cos 40. So T equals 25 divided by the cosine of 40 degrees twenty five divided by cosine forty which is thirty two point six newtons and since the question only gave the force to some figures I'm going to write that down as thirty three newtons And to find P, we know that the horizontal component of the tension must equal P. So it's an equilibrium horizontally. So therefore, P equals T sine of 40 degrees, which is 33 times so sine of 40 degrees. 33 times the sine of 40 degrees is equal to 21 newtons. So it was a pulling force of 21 newtons that caused the monkey to swing out to an angle of 40 degrees.